So we've been having this dilemma of the fact that the chickens are big now. <laughs> and our coop isn't ready yet. So we're making some mini coops. More mini coops. They're less mini than the last mini coop. Yeah. We're going to put the ducks outside finally. And the chickens are going to be in one of these as well. All right, now that we have our safety gear yeah. and our flip flops. The first thing we're doing with this is cutting the cage in half. And you'll see why later. We're gonna be kind of making sort of a stand for it. I think I'm just gonna cut these two out. We'll leave like where the door is going to go and we'll leave this one that way it stays nice and rigid. I mean, there should be plenty of door for a chicken. And the ducks. Yeah. They might have to duck. <laughs> <laughs> The next thing we did was cut a hole for the door and cut vent holes. Do you think we need to cover these? Yes. You know, once you're in here, it's pretty spacious. down a lot really fast. Yeah, I definitely feel like we should maybe do something up here. Okay. It's significantly cooler in here now. Yeah, it feels solid from in here. Ooh, it'll cover the single. How's it going in there? Not bad. It's a little hosey, but I can feel the breeze. I, there is like plenty of space in here though. This is going to be so much nicer for them. They're going to think they're in a mansion. Sweet. The chick mansion. I ended up crawling inside of the IVC tote to install the hardware cloth from the inside so that it would be nice and strong and hard to pull off. We were using staples that were a little too short. So I was just pressing a wood block on the inside and Taylor was hammering them down as they got pushed out from the outside. Next we cut holes that were the size of a 2x2 two two into the side of the IVC tote and we cut two by twos that were just longer than the width so they could rest on the cage and we shoved them through both sides and they're sitting nicely onto the cage now and these are going to be the bird's roosts.
we also covered this spout area with some hardware cloth too, just to be extra safe. All right, our other camera died. I'm setting you guys on this hay bale. <laughs> Another mini coop, a not so mini coop. Looky there. I just want to say, I don't know if I would fully trust the plastic of an IBC tote to protect our chickens in any other circumstance that didn't have an enclosed run, but since we have a really secure run, I am not in the least worried about them. Why not? Hello, bok choy. Bok choy. Our test chicken. Do you like it? She's like, I'd like to leave. The following day was Taylor's birthday and we were out in the driveway working on our second coop, which is our duck coop. And this storm was supposed to be just a little bit of rain and it turned out to be one of the strongest winds that we have experienced on this property so far. And as soon as we made it into the carport after it started raining, this tree, multiple limbs came down off of it into our front yard and just narrowly missed both of our truck and our car. Taylor ran out as soon as that first one fell and moved the truck actually. But I'm gonna show you in the next clip how strong these winds were. <laughs> Police about to shower tonight. I get to fire the chainsaw. <laughs> More mulch. Now, we knew that this tree needed to come down at some point, and it's been like on our list, but it just hasn't been a priority. We've had so many other things to do. Um, but this storm definitely moved it right to the top of our list. So we get to spend the rest of our weekend taking this tree down. These poor guys look like drown rats. Look at Ego. Oh, you're not Ego. You're Ego. You move. We did take a little bit of time the next day, though, to actually finish up our duck coop and get it in there because. We are sick and tired of having them in the basement and they are sick and tired of being in our basement. They've been in their tractor for months now and we let them out all day long, every day, but they dread going inside at night and we felt so bad for them. So we wanted to get this done. All right, everybody's in there. Do you like it? Are you all cozy? <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you alone now. I don't think they understand it, but I think that they're going to really like it because now they don't have to sleep in our basement anymore. We do want to add some rungs to this little ramp because they slide right down. And the chickens, we also want to give them a real ramp too, but this does the job for now and we will dress it in a little bit. So our original project for today was to get to work on the actual chicken coop. Again, after building all the little ones and, and closing the run, we were finally going to get started on the big one. And then Thursday night, we got a really bad storm and this tree already needed to come down, but it was just on the list. Wasn't really a priority and now it is. So we're going to take the rest of it down because a lot of very large branches fell. So Taylor already chainsawed up a bunch of the big pieces and we need to mulch all of this today. And we're also going to attempt to take the rest of it down. So wish us luck on that because this was not a project we planned on working on this weekend and probably going to spend all of at least today, if not some of tomorrow, on this. 
First things first though, we needed to pick up some of this wood that Taylor chopped into firewood and stack it in a big pile so that it was sort of out of the way. You guys ready for this? We're taking down part one of this tree. We're gonna attempt to. It's like hollowed out this branch or limb and he's gonna just try and pull it off and that's gonna be our tester to see if we'd be able to actually strap to that and pull the rest of it because this whole thing is leaning towards our house. I'm very nervous right now. This part itself isn't that scary but like taking the whole thing down this could very much fall on our house quite easily. Like, it's a very big tree. <laughs> trying to be smart about it and we've calculated some things out and we're gonna try this first as like a little tester to see how it goes. gonna run down this hill so I'm nowhere near it on the rotten center starting to leak water out of that side nice I think the truck will pull it now I hope it will and there's only there's three inches of tree left and I think you think the, some weld, of the middle of it's rotten you think that some of that like those things are gonna snap or anything I mean, again, I'm not going to pull on it that hard. Okay. I'm just going to let the truck roll a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, she's coming down. <laughs> Got it. It made a very satisfying sound. You're a lumberjack. I'm always satisfied when I like make that work. I mean, obviously this one required the truck, but. You're getting pretty good at it. Have to really test your skills. If I was a standard lumberjack, I could have hammered wedges into the back of it and it probably would have fell. But now I'll take the chainsaw and I'll try and just take a bunch of this off. Okay. And then we'll take this one down the and same way we did that one. Okay, just pull it the same way? Yeah, we'll strap to it. It's gonna be a little tricky because that's so rotten. So you I'll think have that to... limb is rotten? Like the one over there? That one? Yeah. Ah, it's really hard to say. <laughs> but I can stand up there and I can make a little notch in it with okay. the saws all to hold the strap in. Like so the strap can't move, you know? excited to like get this trailer tongue out of here. I know. Like I don't know what's going on with that thing. It looks like a little clown shoe. You're gonna get it this time. Like, I feel like the truck was able to move it. It was really close to getting it, I think. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my goodness. 
That was super cool to watch. <laughs> Good job. by the road so that I'm not under that big tree just in case it hits the other big tree. I'm so stressed out right now. Heart is literally racing right now. I have so much anxiety over this. Every time he lets off it leans back towards the house and it's terrifying. Once the truck starts coming forward, it's as soon as tension comes off. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> it's also just starting to sprinkle. I also had to stress myself out by redoing this cut, which is not a suggested idea. <laughs> Taylor spent the rest of the next day cleaning this up, and we still have quite a bit to do. But we're very, very relieved this is done, even though it was an extremely stressful situation. And there were a few times where we thought it might actually fall in the house. But we're okay, everything's okay, and we're just going to keep moving forward. Mm -hmm.